Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal, guys, and welcome back to another reaction. This time around to the new Slipknot song, The Dying Song, Time to Sing. Now, I'm going to tell you my relationship with the Slipknot. I kind of grew up with an older brother who was into old school heavy metal. So we, I wasn't really into new metal for the exception of System of the Down, if you want to call him that. I really loved System of the Down. And I, I've always respected Corey Taylor and all the musicians of Slipknot, but I just didn't get it. Uh, what the band was all about. There was a couple songs I like, like Devil and I, uh, but I really never dove deep. So I thought, hey, maybe my mind has changed, especially starting to start the channel. I've kind of loosened up a little bit on my um, metal eliteness and see if I enjoyed this song or not. Let's jump into it and see what we got. And if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure to subscribe down below for more. Put your hands into the water, let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now, let them sing till you die. Die! Yeah, it's better than I remember it, to be honest, actually, from a couple songs I heard way back in the day where I felt like even as a thrash and death metal and like black metal head, sometimes it felt like just kind of like noise or like just hardcore punk. Um, where here, there's just this like fine line of accessibility and weirdness and just heaviness that they are. So they kind of combine their, their, their weirdness as their personalities with the music that's more modern um there's some interesting riffs there's some really interesting like uh, drum lines going on but i'm definitely not hooked on the song yet I always found it funny that it's like there's like 40 fucking members in Slipknot. Uh, with a scratching table, I think is a nice touch. And definitely, the, 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 you can tell the musicians are really talented. It's actually, I, I'm looking at it, despite the fact that I don't like the song, I, I am coming in with like a, a surprise. Like, wow, I think I was way too harsh when I was younger on this band because uh, they're for sure talented. There's this good musicianship going on here if you're into it. Although I feel like this song might not have the same impact as some of their older stuff. And perhaps it's just a band getting older, or maybe it's just they've lost their touch. That's something that fans can tell me in down below in the comments.
And this particular song, I like Corey's more harsh vocals than singing, despite the fact that I think he's a good singer. Uh, I think the harsh vocals fit better. And it almost feels like his soft singing is a little bit off-putting to the heaviness of the song. I gotta say, the masks are really cheesy. Uh, that, that's something I never liked from them. Damn. Insane Clown Posse. But then again, it, it's just as silly as like black metal guys putting on corpse paint. I think we get the point. Um, honestly, my opinion hasn't changed on the band at all. Uh, I, it's kind of exactly what I expected it to be. And I mean, they've been around for such a long time. I don't, I don't think I expect them to change their sound or innovate some kind of style. I think they've already done that with the beginning of their career. And you know what? I, I give them their due because they would not be this popular if there wasn't something to them. Uh, but it also mean, doesn't mean I have to automatically like it. So it's like I'm stuck somewhere in the middle. It's just I sometimes feel like I am missing out on certain bands because like everybody loves them and I can't get into them. You know, it's like I, I have this desire to want to do it. I don't want to be like the person who's like, oh, I'm too cool to listen to that. Like, I'm not that. I, I want to discover more bands. I, I actually, that's how I got into Lamb of God. They don't like them at first. It took me some time. Then I found Omerta. And from that point on, it was, you know, the rest is history. Uh, but I would love to hear from fans how they feel about this particular single. And perhaps maybe there's songs I can jump on besides The Devil and I that I might enjoy from Slipknot. Uh, guys, make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there and keep it metal.